Hello, my name is Andrew Parker, aka Africa Andrew, aka Wafella, aka Spider Man, and I've escaped out of a straitjacket. I've escaped out of handcuffs. I've escaped out of ropes. So I have acquired a certain amount of escapology skills, escape skills. Now I want to learn how to pick locks. This is a very specific skill set. It is very hard, but I want to at least start getting into it and see if I can learn it. So let's go inside and start learning how to pick a lock. Let's learn some lock picking. This is a lock picking set that I ordered off of Amazon. I haven't even opened it. So let's see what's inside here. This is the padlock that I'm going to try to pick. It's supposed to be... Uh, not super difficult to pick this kind of padlock, but again, I've never done it, so. And overall, I've heard lock picking is really easy, so no, that's a lie. It's supposed to be pretty hard, pretty difficult. Muy difficulto. Yeah, y'all didn't know I spoke Spanish. Yeet! <laughs> Screw you. Try again. Yeet! Ooh, you almost did it again. I was about to get mad. Ooh, this looks fancy. All right, so we have a clear padlock for me to practice on. That's gonna be helpful. Wow, it looks really complicated. Ooh, oh, I have a lot. Okay. Now what? I know I need one of these bad boys, right? That goes in the bottom. Oh. <laughs> Wait, what do you mean? Maybe I'm an idiot, but how am I supposed to use these keys to unlock this padlock? <laughs> I am confusion. What is all of this, dude? I feel like I'm a dentist. Boop, boop, boop. When's the last time you flossed? Uh, you should know, dentist, you were there. Screw flossing. All right, so here's the challenge, people. I'm gonna start learning this. I have to pick this padlock by the time my friend gets here in a few hours. It's like 11 o'clock right now. She'll get here like three or four. So I have a few hours to pick this lock. If I have not done that by then, I will have a punishment. Oh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Just take the ring off. I'm a smart human, I promise. So this is the clear one. You can see the pins working in there. I'm not gonna explain how to lock pick, but basically there's pins in here, and when you put the key in, there's the cylinder, and then there's the pins on top. When you put the key in, all these pins pop up and line up against the shear line, I think is what it's called, and then when you, that means you can twist the cylinder once the pins are like that and pop it open. So the key is specifically aligned to these pins. The pins are different lengths to line up with the shear line. So the ridges in the key line up with the pins to push them up the certain amount for the cylinder to move. So basically what you have to do with the lock pick is get in there and push up every one of those pins individually to the shear line while holding pressure with the tension wrench or whatever um, to keep it there and then it'll move. So here you can kind of see what you're doing. This, you can't see the pins. I don't even know how many are in here. Okay. I got the clear one. That's that's cool. That's satisfying. Do you hear that? Play that sound back. Oh, yeah. Give me that sweet, sweet goodness. <laughs> That was first try, I did it in like three seconds. Wait, what, dude? Okay, well I definitely don't get a punishment. I can't do it again, but I freaking did it. Yeah, whoops. Okay, I did it with a different tool. 
So this tool has one hook, this has three hooks, or it's a little mountain. I got it again though. Boom, boom, done. That took me a one minute. All right, so Andrew's at my house for dinner and he really likes this fried shrimp that my mom makes. So I'm gonna put it in his bag and lock it with this lock and he's gonna have to lock pick it if he wants to eat dinner. <laughs> Tell him the food's ready, get him all excited, and then make him want to die. Hey, Andrew. Dinner's ready. Okay. Come eat. Okay. You might need your lock picking kit. Many what? Your lock picking kit. Why? No reason. Just, just bring it. Why? Nothing. Just, just Why are you filming? <laughs> no reason. What? Wait. What have you done? I've done nothing. You're lying. I, I do not lie. It's on the table for you. What's on the table? Your dinner. I'm eating cookies? No. It's in the bag. What's in the bag? The shrimp. You did not. I did. It's in there. It's warm, isn't it? It's in the Tupperware? Yeah. I'm hungry. Well, then you better get some lock picking. This has taken me a minute, and it's taken me much longer, and I want to eat now, and I love my shrimp. <laughs> Why did you do this with the shrimp? To motivate you. It's and also to torture you. You're evil, you know that? Only because you give me the power to be evil. I'm pretty sure that's a direct Adolf Hitler quote. <laughs> oh my gosh. This has taken, like, I've done this in like 30 seconds before, and then it's also taken me like five minutes. Well, you better hurry before that shrimp gets cold. <laughs> it's a whole plate of shrimp too. Uh, it's all for you. Mom said it's all for you. She made two plates and one of them is for you. Because come on. You be a fatty. I'm gonna. Where's your food? Uh, in the microwave. I'm gonna go eat yours. No, you're not. Because if you eat mine, then your shrimp's gonna be cold and then you're gonna be sad. And look, there's the cocktail sauce for it. Uh, come on. Come on. Why is that not. <laughs> you can, we can set it up on a tripod if you want to eat. No, like, I'm good. I'm not the one that's starving and, you know, really craving shrimp and that cocktail sauce. Brand new jar. You're despicable. <laughs> and then for dessert, we have cookies and ice cream and chocolate-covered strawberries. If you don't stop talking about food, <laughs> we're going to have issues. Well, maybe if you could just pick that lock faster, we wouldn't have any issues. The issues are starting. The issues are starting right now. I don't understand like what I'm supposed to do. Like I got it so easy one time and I do the same thing. Push it up. I'm pushing the pin up. Ah! I wanna eat. I just wanna then eat. Just pick the lock. You suck. Maybe you shouldn't have left your lock out where I could get it. I did it today. And it, and it took a while, but it didn't take this long. It better not like be broken. <laughs> <laughs> There's literal gold inside of here. I mean, yeah, they're pretty golden brown. I gotta go. I, that's what I'm saying, <laughs> man. Okay, the first time I ever did it, I think I must be like damaging it the more I do it because I got it the first time ever within like seconds. Dude, this is so stupid. My hands hurt. 
How long? How long is it? This been? clip right now is five minutes. The other one was also five minutes from when I went to go get you. The freak was that? The doorbell. Why is someone at your door? It's probably my brother. Is it a freaking locksmith? <laughs> Please. What do you mean? You know, I have I have an idea to make this a little more interesting. What? The timer just hit eight minutes. I think if you don't get it out in the ten, you have to eat one of these flaming hot nacho Doritos. Are you out of your mind? You better hurry. Eight. 14, 8, 15. <laughs> well, it's taking me this long. There's no way I'm gonna get it and read. Nine minutes. <laughs> it's dumb, okay? <laughs> I've done it before. The first time I ever... Stop. <laughs> Man, these hot nacho Doritos. Dang. He did it. Screw your Doritos. <laughs> Don't you want to open it? Ow. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh, wait, there's cocktail sauce in a bowl. I'm eating the tail. <laughs> All right, dinner time. Dinner time! It's dinner time! Alright guys, hey, so if you would like to see more lockpicking videos or challenges in the future, let me know. And I really am afraid that I kind of damaged that lock because I, I have read and, and, and listened of some about some lockpicking stuff and some people do say that if you do it, you shouldn't do it to like your normal locks because you can't damage locks when you lockpick them, obviously. And I feel like I, I, I did that to that lock because the first few times it was really, really easy and now it's just, it, I never know if I'm gonna get it or not. So I should probably buy a new lock and, and keep some handy if I wanna do more challenges like this, but I probably damaged it so that might be why it took so long and why it took me so long to eat my freaking shrimp. But to anyone who's still watching this vlog, I really appreciate it, thank you so much for watching. The comment for this video is from Denny Denny Sions. That was, uh, this was on my uh, escapology video where I got like kidnapped and it's one of my favorite videos ever. It was very intense and awesome and well edited in my opinion and it's just one of my favorite videos I've ever made. So anyways, go check it out if you haven't. But he asked a question about that video. That was brilliant. I'm looking forward to the next escapology video but I've got a question. Would you be able to remove the straight jacket if you wouldn't, if you won't get your arm over your head before they bind the rope around your shoulders and chest? So in the video, I'm get, I got put into a straight jacket and then um, duct taped and handcuffed with my feet and legs and stuff and then they take rope, well there was a bag over my head too, and they took rope and put it around me um, on a chair and underneath the guise of the bag on my head I got part of the straight jacket unhooked or undone, um, I got my arm over my head while they were doing that before they tightened the ropes on me. So the question was, could I have gotten out of the straight jacket if I didn't do that beforehand while they were doing the rope and the rope was already there? I don't know. Um, I'm glad I did it because it made it a lot easier. I think eventually I would have been able to. It's not too hard to get that over there, um, but I don't know how tight the ropes would have been or, or what. I think with enough jiggling and enough time, I think I would have been able to get it over, but um, it was definitely smart of me to go ahead and do that before they tighten the ropes. Good question, thank you for the question. And the Bible verse is Hebrews 10, 24 to 25. Let us consider how we may spur one another on toward love and good deeds, not giving up meeting together as some are in the habit of doing, but encouraging one another, and all the more as you see the day approaching. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Comment down below, let me hear from you. I love hearing from you guys. And you know, hopefully YouTube won't turn off my comments. They turned off my comments on one of my videos, um, my handcuff underwater escape and YouTube has been turning people's comments off, and I think that's just ridiculous. But anyways, um, go ahead and comment, and thank you so much for watching. And I apologize for my hair being all weird at the beginning of this video. It was kind of bothering me. I edited some of it already, and like sometimes I'm a well-put-together human, and sometimes my hair just has a mind of its own, and I sound like a girl. Anyways, Carpe Diem, we to Esbono. Go have a great day. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.